What do you know? It really was as easy as booking a ticket after all. Well, almost. I only need to get some fuel rods to revive the submarine's reactors. How hard can it be? Don't the Russians have this stuff just sitting all over the place? In this case, though, there's only one man who actually knows where to look for it. But through sheer luck, I had already met him. Now, I just need to find the captain again. That should be about as easy as finding a needle in a haystack. Luckily, along with new weapons, Tom has provided me with a map detailing some of the captain's hideouts. Of course, there's no guarantee I'll meet the old man in any of them. But they are at least a place to start. Hello again, American. No hard feelings, right? No hard feelings. Great. The boss told us to find your nice boat. Shit. That was close.
Got jammed. You again? <laughs> yes, me. Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. Well, thank you, Uncle Sam. Edward Baranoff, ex-captain. Glad to meet you, Ed. How did you end up in this mess? This is one of my ports. Usually the traps downstairs were enough. The Foglies here know well enough to stay away. Let's go before some more arrive. Blech. Psst. 
stupid beasts. You kill a bunch, but they just keep coming. Help me move this, Sam. You got it? Come on! Oh, we did it. Ugh, I hurt all over. Which is a good sign. Means I'm alive. So, where was I? Ah, yes. Then the bandits from the cinema decided to throw a party for the local gang bosses. And think far enough ahead to chase a pack of fuglies away from the ruins next door for extra security. So the poor mutants arrived here and got sandwiched between the bandits and the other packs in the vicinity. The only way open for them was up. I could beat them, but that gem... You're welcome. I've been looking for you. Did you talk to Tom? Yeah. He suggests a deal. Yes, he's fond of those. being old. We're almost there. All right, my own personal savior, let's set sail. Come aboard. We have a long way to go. Tell me, Ed, what happened here during the war? Doesn't look like the city took any direct hits. So why is it in such a state? Yeah, there were no direct hits. The warheads fell into the sea, all in a neat little line. My sub didn't even shoot. All the targets were destroyed without our help. We called the base for orders, but there was no reply. The base was hit naturally, so we sailed here. That's where the HQ was. When we reached the city, we couldn't recognize it. It was even worse back then, of course. Just the smell alone. There were very few survivors, and frankly, we were surprised to find any. We picked them up from the roofs, organized somehow, and ended up settling in the dock. The place ended up pretty cozy. At least we had no problem with electricity, with the reactors running. And by the time they ran out of fuel, we had a floating power station ready. All this luxury ended up generating rumors. So the bandits started coming by to check us out. Finally, one day Tom arrived, with an offer of uniting our forces and setting up an effective defense perimeter. Mm, that bastard. Sniper, get down! Damn it. <coughs> Did he get you? I'm fine. Keep your head down. I'll handle the sniper. You stay here. Are you sure? Go get him then.
Feel better already. Find another way.
tell you one thing, you fucker. You ain't getting away, that's like for sure. I give up. No, I, I see you are serious people going about your business. So I, I won't give you any trouble anymore. Ed, Sam here. Sniper neutralized. Никаких проблем. Нет. Кто эти ребята? Эти ребята, о которых я вам говорил. Они пришли, чтобы сделать профит, пытаясь наш дом в док, но это не получилось. Я должен дать кредит, где кредит должен. That bastard Tom did bolster the defenses all right. These losers have long since stopped raiding. A few years back they made one last attempt. Klim gave them a lesson. They were so terrified they didn't even cut down bodies of their hanged pals all over the ruins. They couldn't raid and didn't have a place to go. So they turned to traffic. They catch mutants in the ruins. Those human-like ones. Their beasts are dumb and shrewd, but strong. Quite good for dragging carts or boats on the rivers, turning wheels and stuff. They don't eat much either, so using them lets you save a bunch of fuel. So the bandits catch them, train them a little, and then sail them off to traders. Those come from the south a couple of times a month. They pay in weapons, ammo, rice, all the things you need for a decent life in the wild. <laughs> They visit the settlement too, mostly buying restored generators, engines, and other machines. Our maintenance guys are real wizards after all. Oh, and dried fish too. So that's the region's economy in a nutshell. <laughs> Why did those trappers shoot at us? The whole city is divided between them. It took a lot of fighting to define those borders. So now they open fire at anyone approaching without proper insignia. Got it. Turf Wars, the primeval edition. Ha 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 ha! You got it. All right, we're here, Sam. Let's move this thing and I'll show you my backup base. Cool. So, care to tell me the essence of Tom's offer? It's simple. He offers to leave you the settlement along with everyone who won't follow him. How generous. And what does he want? He wants you to deliver fuel rods for the submarine. <laughs> Come on in, sir. Don't worry, the lift's fine. My friends and I took our time preparing this base. There's a generator on the roof. The staircase is just an emergency exit. Too many foglies in the lower floors. So the lift's no luxury. Just have to keep that generator going. So, the guys didn't get caught back then, after all. 
Or if they did, they wouldn't talk. What guys? When Tom had shown his true colors, my closest friends and I decided to refuel this soul and take her to sea. The plan was strictly need to know. Only Alex, my XO, and Alex II, the torpedo officer, and Volodya, the life support guy, were in. They left to recon the field and stayed in contact for two weeks. They found the fuel. And we arranged for me to pick them up in the night. But it was Klim's people who met me there. I barely escaped. Do you think they were captured? I don't know. But seeing Klim's people there was hardly a coincidence. Yeah. And we're there. Come on in, Sam. Make yourself at home, Sam. Take a rest. There's a storm outside anyway. Tell me, Sam, what's your angle in all this mess? I just want to go home, Ed. Nothing more. And Tom said he'd give me a lift. Before starting the nuclear war all over again. Or after. Sam, the Sob is a terrible weapon. A weapon that was entrusted to me to protect my country. Not to be used in pirate raids, or even something as noble as creating the Kingdom of Heaven on Earth. Can you see that? <laughs> I didn't use it in the last war. So could anybody have any right to use it in any capacity now? When we're barely surviving after that one. Ed, Tom is a reasonable man. I don't think he'd go so far as... Tom is first and foremost a businessman. And he will get what he wants, one way or another. Can't you see that his offer to let those who wouldn't follow him go is a threat? What is going to happen to them should I choose not to bring him the fuel? I think you're being too negative here, really. Okay, let's do it this way. I ring him up, you talk to him directly. Fine by me. Tom, Sam here. The captain agrees to talk. I'll be brief. I need those fuel rods, and you know that. You want your settlement, your people, and your power back. And I'm ready to offer you just that. As soon as those reactors are refueled, my people and I will leave and never bother you again. You don't believe I'll never use the nukes, but you'll just have to take my word on that. You know I can keep it. You've kept it so far, if we stretch the definition. But that's besides the point. Even if I believe you, I don't believe Klim. Did he tell you the free bandits are working for him? What makes you say so? I have no proof. But the friends I left with went missing. Did he tell you anything about them? He said he was looking for them. I had my doubts for quite some time already. And now they're solidifying. Bolivar cannot carry double any longer. Once the fuel is here, Clem will be taken care of. Anything else? No, just that. We do, Tom. I know I'm going to regret this, but we do. You won't. A deal is a deal, Edward. See you soon. Thank you for trusting him. Sam, I don't trust him. Not even for a second. No matter what he says, I can't trust him. But... But you have no choice. Exactly. I really don't have a choice here. The generator's out again. Let's go check it. Oh, shit! Before we go, let's do something about my knee. It is swelling up already.
Sure thing, Ed. Do you have anything for the pain? I don't drink, really, but I do have a crate of Molotovs. Their moonshine and fish oil should do the trick. I wish we had some food to chase the drink down with, though. 